so I'm just gonna keep on this thing. But let's do this. So obviously those some of those random teams in the place of the actual one that was supposed to be there. But now Oh, it seem so quiet. So, the first one on Saturday, what was it? Denmark. So, I think about that. For that one, I'm going to say. What was it? Denmark. Two on tours. But score. I'm probably gonna say it's gonna be Bell Ramsey and for Denmark. I don't even know who you'd score because I don't really know any of the players on. But I think they'll get a goal. That's what I think. But then what's the other one? Italy vs Austria. I'm going to say 4 1 to Italy. I think that's like really. That's a straightforward one. Probably for them, I think it's going to be. I think the final will be Italy versus whoever beat wins England versus Germany the way it's looking is that that will be the fan and obviously I'm gonna have to, that one's gonna be a bit more detailed than that one than the other ones because other ones I can't I watch them and stuff but honestly you're not really gonna care too much about what happened to these ones in comparison to that one. No, actually, you would because it's about you could get an everything. Then, Netherlands versus Czech Republic. Mm, I'm gonna say. Two to Netherlands against Czech probably probably and score. I'll go for Memphis and probably why now them. So I think of their team. I can't even think of too many of their players actually. I actually can't. Who do they even have? Uh, yeah, I don't know who they have. They have the lit as well. That's not someone you're gonna put there, really. Mm. That's why. Yeah, that's the team. This chance he probably won't even get to the next all cup. The rules. They have no chance, absolutely no chance there, because they have some, their team, <laughs> I'll say it's bad but I don't even know who they even have, especially but in that 2014 now, that was a really good team. Because well, I'm pretty sure they, they made it to the semi-finals or that's when they, they just blew what's it called Spain out oh, there. Wasn't that five teams group stage? Spain didn't make a pass group, but England didn't either. That was that was awful World Cup. I think England drew one one and then lost all the other games. Cause I remember Rooney scoring, and I remember Sturridge scoring as well, but he didn't make it out of the group. 
Saw so somebody at 80 years old in that group and Uruguay. I don't even remember who the other team was. But that's not even like in this anyway. Hungary. So close. The two usual. I thought they were gonna get when they went two they went it should two or not. The second off they went more on. I think at that point everyone must have been thinking they're about to do it. But they actually put up a fight in that group they only lost one out of three. Two draws and that Germany match easily could have gone their way. So that's the reason why I think England it's not looking too bad actually but that's a bit later on the film what's the next one? Oh, oh man I forgot about this this is the other big one as well Belgium v Portugal and England vs Germany are two big matches you're gonna get last, this last season there is only actually two big big matches Spain vs Croatia I'll put them like, like a level below it because they're profit they're pretty close to the same level as well even though Spain won that like 5 no. I still I still don't think Spain I don't know Spain and Croatia shot to me they were not far apart but a good one as well is um Switzerland I mean Sweden versus Ukraine because you're guaranteed to have one of those teams the final eight that's something but yeah Belgium v Portugal I don't even know about that for that one I'll probably go I'll go with for that one. Wait, well, I almost got that one exactly right, actually. Ooh. Wait, yeah, this one I got right as well, but swap. Ooh, that what that's what's supposed to be Croatia around with Scotland. First two I got right from the beginning of the thing. Wait. And then this was just edge runs because there's not that many teams in it. But yeah, not even that. Not about that. The actual thing. Belgium, Portugal. That I'm going for. I'm gonna say Belgium's gonna win it. Yeah, I'm gonna go for Belgium. Belgium. I'm gonna say. Belgium's gonna beat. I think Belgium's gonna beat them. 3 2. I think it's gonna be. It's gonna be a insane game, I think. I don't, I don't see it being one of those big games where no one could score. That's why I see England and Germany as a bit more than that one. Because that one to me looks set up for there to be a lot of goals. So five goals and all thing, or, or even more, I think that one's capable of. Got Ronaldo, got Lukaku, Bruno, De Bruyne. Like, there's that's a recipe for a lot of goals. Just them. The Belgium got old defence, really old defence and stuff. 
that I think it will be their test this match and Portugal have Ruben Diaz and stuff that's Ruben Diaz and Pepe that you say should be good but especially Ruben Diaz looking a bit shaky in the Euros I think but he's been playing against biggest teams on that most of them to be fair alright now let's talk about the rest of it so for the rest of it he was we got Kruish of us after that one but this one I'm going to go with like for that one I'm going to say I think I'm going to say Spain's going to win but I see it I'm going to say 1-1 in the actual match and I think it's going to go all the way from extra time I know actually I'm going to say 1-1 one, one match 2-2 two, two after extra time and Spain will win on penalties for that one because with these you're going to get you're going to get the penalty shots at some point you have to so you have to be a bit diverse in the thing so that one I think that's going to go to penalties but Spain's going to win it and go through France v Switzerland France v Switzerland now I don't care what anyone says France is not this they're really good of course but I don't know I don't think France is going to win it uh, for that match, I think I think they'll win that though. I think they will win that. Yeah, that one. France. I'm gonna go France to win. I'm gonna say three one to France, and that one. Well, actually, not actually. Gotta go back to Belgium, Portugal, because that one I gotta come up with scores for that. So that one I said three two to Belgium, and I'm gonna say we're gonna get. I think it's going to be two from Lukaku and one from t- who, are, who would that one be from I'm going to say one from t- I'm going to go outside the box I'm going to say Toby Alderweireld header and two Lukaku goals for their goals in that and Portugal for their two goals mm. Ronaldo of course and uh, I'm gonna say Bruno Ronaldo and Bruno Scored their two goals. That's how I see that. And um, but now, got that. Next one. The next one, though. This one, this whole thing, it's not even that. It's just a background thing. This is me just talk. It's not actually visual really honestly but yeah I'm gonna go 
what was you on front yeah France East Switzerland Switzerland scorer honestly I don't know who that would put in bowl or something I don't know and then France <coughs> I'm gonna say it's gonna be Giroud Benzema and Giroud mm, Benzema and for him it's how I'm gonna say they're gonna score England England v Germany now for this one because I'm already on the thing <coughs> now I already picked England anyway I'm, I'm gonna have to do this. I'm gonna to have to do this. Okay. So let's get into this one. Okay. So what I just did there, I basically went to all another thing. I done like I didn't even. It just happened automatically. Didn't think of it by or anything. Basically done the whole thing. Start squad talking about the whole thing of the England Germany match. It became a bit long. But it just happened. Because obviously when it comes to the England match I'm gonna be honest. When it comes to one of those matches and all the other ones I always have a lot more to say about it but yeah that like that probably day after actually like yeah I thought day after this or day after that I'll be putting that maybe even the same name I'll be putting what I did there there as well. It was just like a whole long thing. But basically, I think 2 1. 2 1 to England. I think we'll beat them. I see us beating them. I didn't say who I think would score. So here. Here. I'm going to say. Sterling and Grealish to score not exactly unpredictable but I don't think the scores are going to be extraordinarily unpredictable scores the outsider that maybe a Maguire header that's like an outsider odds one dumps thrown in there just throwing that in but yeah basically that's what I think that is what I think 2 1 actually let's go quickly look at the um, the last one oh yeah that last one Sweden vs Ukraine that now that I'm gonna say for that what am I gonna say I'm about I'm gonna say for that one I'm gonna go with a uh, gonna go with a little Sweden winning I was gonna say that before Sweden no yeah Sweden to win 3-1 three 3-1 one. Three one win for Sweden I see it happening court finals calling them I think they're making it there and let me let me try to say one one thing actually that we'll probably be seeing 
that a lot of people won't expect to see. Wales with Denmark, I'd say I would think Wales is going to win. Wales, I think we'll see them in the semi final again, not time the semi final again. Lucky match, to be honest, but yeah, semi finals Wales. I see it happening. I see it happening. Wales not time the semi final, but probably Italy. And I think right now England v Italy final is what we will see because that goes in line with the way the tournament set up. It could it can be that if England Italy both win their matches. It's likely, but you have all the big teams outside the zone: France, Belgium, Portugal. Obviously, that match has been played. That's the one no one knows who really will be on top of that one. Like England and Germany. But yeah. That's what I see. England v Italy final is what I see right now. But look at the way it's set up. Or if not that alternative it's France v Germany. It's my alternative one. I think what happened if England lose. Yeah, England we used to see. France with Germany, two fans I see it. Look at the last team. But yeah, that's it. Well. Oh.